Ah, good morning, everyone. Whew. How's it going? Georgia here, and I woke up just in time for some story time. I'm going to go over uh, some of my worst injuries I've had in my life. I've had a ton of injuries, but I'm going to go over three that stick out that I actually have on video, so I can show you what happened. Even though there's have millions of injuries, I have never broken a bone somehow. Not going to but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start the first story up. Goes back to when I was like, I wanna say I was like 18. We are going skating, heading up to Philly for the day. I mean, a few of my friends, I know Robbie was there. A couple of my other friends, I'm not exactly sure. My friend Gilbert was there, my friend Robbie, my friend Brian O'Malley was there. And we went to some antique like eight rail in Philly. And I was trying, like I like board slid it, I 50 50 it. Then I was trying to back lip and back smith it. So I was sliding them out, did a couple back lips. I never back lift a handrail at this point. So I was like really excited and kind of nervous. I was sliding them, almost did it, and then we got kicked out. I was out of charge. And the rail had like no runway, but it was like good warm up and practice on. So yeah, we get kicked out before I get any footage there. Then we know another rail. It's like my favorite spot in Philly. It's gone now, but it's called Corner Pocket Rail and at Gerard High School. Completely torn down now. The whole school is gone. But uh, the rail was like super perfect. It was like a seven stair, but each stair was like this big, and the rail was just like super mellow, not that steep. But the end of it was like, it dropped off kind of tall. The end was like up here, so if you mess up, you're gonna get like sacked on it. So yeah, I would go to that rail all the time, and after practicing backlip on the first rail, I wanted, I've always wanted to backlip that rail. So then I went there. This is, I think this is the first day I ever, that's the second day I went to ever try backlip it, I think. So we get to it, board slide it. And then I slide like a bunch. I probably slide like eight of them. I think I got it. I'm like pretty close, pretty confident. Then all of a sudden, I try one. I'm like, I don't turn enough. The rail's not that tall to get on, but it's so mellow that like, it's just like, just completely like, it's not steep at all. It's just almost like an out rail, but it's going downhill a little bit. So I ollie, don't turn at all enough. So I lock into a backsmith, which just completely stops my body and like fly backwards. And then my back hit first, and then immediately I just smack my head on the ground. It echoes everywhere. It's like the loudest noise. You'll see it in the clip. And then after that, I go to stand up, and my legs like give out. Like my left leg doesn't work. I'm like stumbling around, holding my head like real dazed. I'm like walking around. Like my friends are all coming up to me. I'm like all confused, and I look at them. Like I remember like looking in, into their eyes, and like their eyes were like on their foreheads, on their eyes. Their eyes were here, and I kept like blinking and like. I couldn't see straight, I couldn't focus, like my eyes were just like not working right. And I, I had like a mild concussion there. And then we went, we walked across the street to the McDonald's so I could relax and just sit there. And then like I just started getting sick, I couldn't see anything. And then my friend Robbie, he was, he was the same age as me, but he just got his permit. Or he didn't even have his permit, he definitely didn't have a license. So he ends up driving me because I couldn't see, I couldn't drive at all. And then he drives me from Philly an hour south to the hospital. To get to the hospital, and then they just checked me out. I was pretty fine. I just had a mild concussion, and then went back to normal. But it was a terrifying hour because I had no idea what was going on. I could barely see, and like hit, that was the hardest I ever hit my head. It was a terrible time. But then yeah, Robbie drove me to the hospital. No license, but Yeah, you alright? Yeah, you just sit down. Alright. Dude, are you? Sit down. Your head. Oh, alright, a little blood. Fuck. Shit. Oh, it's coming out. Dude. Alright, let's go. Yeah, it's not safe. Wait, do you need me to drive you anywhere? I can drive. Go to some McDonald's. Right. And get ice. Do you want me to drive? And then about two months, maybe three months later down the road, my friend, like, he texted me a picture one day of this rail. It's like one of the sickest rails I've ever seen. It's like, it's like maybe like a 10 stair long, but again, extended stairs like this. So it's like a 13 stair, maybe 14 stair long and super low, super mellow. It was only like just above knee high and like just amazing looking. But then I go to it the first day and there's no ride up, it's grass. So you have to bring your own ride up. 
So I was bringing like sheets of metal and sheets of wood just to like ride on so you can actually pop off something. And then I think as soon as I set that up the first day, a neighbor in its apartment complex, so one of the, uh, the owners of the apartment, they called the cops and boom, we we're kicked out. So then it was like a week after that, I get up real early, like seven in the morning. I have three of my friends that are all in high school at the time. They all don't call out of school. They just come with me, skip school. We go to this rail, we set up the wood. It's real early. It's probably about like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning at this time. Got the wood set up. I'm grinding the rail now. I've tried it like maybe like five, six times. I grind the whole rail. I'm trying to feeble it. Get to the end, get to the end. And then I have my one friend. He's like a real piece of shit. Was just the whole time he's telling me that I couldn't do it, even though I'm like all the way at the end of this rail. And he's still like, you can't do this. We should just leave. I was like, no, I'm doing this. And then a couple more tries. Like the wood was so shitty, like you couldn't get a pop off it. So like, I'll try and pop. And my wheels would just like stick or just sink in. And then I was trying to do a backside feeble. And then I pop, right up, pop, locked into a 50-50 somehow. Wasn't like I was trying to lock into a feeble, so my body wasn't ready at all. Then the board just rolls out, land on my spine, which is probably the reason I have back problems today. Land on my spine, flip over, hit my head on the on the dirt, and then do a backflip. And I remember when I, I hit my head so hard that an AIM conversation popped up of me like fighting with an ex-girlfriend. like, And it, I could just see the conversation. like, It was like the AIM combo was just in real life. I could just see it, and I was like, oh my god. And then I was like, felt okay. And then I tried it, tried it like seven more times after that, and then then the cops, or someone end up calling the cops, the cops show up. Then my friends end up, three of my friends get arrested, or two of my friends, they end up getting arrested for skipping school. So I have a photo, I might be able to find it, might not, of them getting into the cop car and I'm like smiling, laughing, I don't know why I thought it was funny. I don't think they pressed charges or anything, we just had to pick them up from the station. But then as soon as that happened with the cops, I started feeling terribly sick, I started vomiting, like uncontrollably, and I couldn't see again, and then I had to just lay down. I could not stop throwing up. And I think it lasted about like five, six hours. So just off and on throwing up. So then again, a couple months later, Robbie, no license, <laughs> drives not only to, drives me to the hospital, but also drives us to the police station to get my friends from the police station because they had to get in contact with their parents who weren't answering and all this stuff because they skipped school. So yeah, we waited at the police station. I'm still throwing up everywhere. Robbie's driving illegally, picks him up from the... <laughs> Picks him up from the police station and then drives me another hour south back to the hospital again. But this time was a little worse because I couldn't stop throwing up. And then with a concussion, you're not supposed to go to sleep because you could go into a coma and die. And like, So I was like trying to stay awake, just throwing up everywhere. I left the hospital. They couldn't really, wasn't anything they really did. And I remember I just laid in my bed with the ice pack on my head, still throwing up. And then all my friends, I was just looking out the window. I had like seven friends over there all skating. They had more friends coming over to skate and like, I was just so fucked up, I couldn't get out of bed because my head was just it was pounding. I couldn't stop throwing up and it was terrible. I remember it like, it's probably over 10 years ago, but yeah, that clip is probably the reason I have such bad lower back pain, which it's not terrible, but it does hit me hard like once or twice a year where I can't do anything. So yeah, that was a terrible fall. I still want to go back to that rail. I was thinking about it today. Like, I might go back and try and get that clip. I just, I'll bring metal instead of wood because that shit is, ugh. But I know I could do it. It wasn't that I couldn't do it. I just popped wrong and landed bad. So, yeah. Yeah, so my next injury. Is that U Pen A stair in Philly? Probably my favorite stair set in Philly or in general altogether. Probably it's amazing, it's perfect. But you have to wait for someone, a U Pen student, to use a key card, sw sneak in behind them, then you're in the building. From inside the building, you go out another door leading to this like open courtyard. But you gotta get lucky because there's usually a security guard just sitting right before the second door, so you can't even get out there. Or five minutes in, the cops come anyway, so. It's it's a tough spot to skate, but it's actually it's like the best perfect eight stair ever. If you want to skate a good eight stair, it's like perfect. So yeah, we go there. It's like one of my first times ever going there. I like I ollied it, and then first try I stuck Nolly Bakesman. Like that's what I wanted to do. So I was like, alright, I got this. 
it was a little wet out. It, was, it just rained earlier that day. So then I'm trying it for like five, ten minutes, and there's this like, this, the dude comes, he's like, Thomas, we gotta get out of here. I'm just like, just like trying to get one more try out of it, so I know I can do it. I just need like a couple more tries. So then he's like, no, no, no. So then from where I was normally trying it, I tried a little bit to the left, but there's like a tree branch sticking out that I ended up hitting. So I try it, I got one try, dude's yelling at me. I go to pop it, didn't pop, it's like overspun, it's just doing all these extra spins. I hit my arm on the tree branch, and then I try and land it anyway, and then my board is upside down. My right foot lands on the truck, bends completely in half, and then my body was leaning the opposite way, and it somehow didn't break my ankle. I have no idea how. Then it just launches me, and I'm just like, oh my god. It was like the sharpest pain ever, but somehow it did not break. So I'm just sitting there, like this dude's still yelling at me. I'm like, fuck. So I didn't get the trick. Ankle is destroyed. Then I ended up having to limp to my car, and I was like, all right, it's not too bad. As soon as I got to my car, could barely, I couldn't drive anymore. My friends had to drive me home. And I had no health insurance. So like I went to charity care to get checked out. They were like, it's fine. And then a couple months later, I was like, dude, this thing is still so fucked up. So I went to like an actual orthopedic doctor and they were like, yeah, you tore every single ligament. It's like, this is like worse than breaking it because it takes longer to heal and all this. So I was like, great. So I couldn't really do anything. I had no money or no health insurance at all. So yeah, for that one was, it was the longest injury. Like I rolled my ankles like I think my right ankle I've rolled about 17 times to the point where it does this. Like it clicks. Ew. So this is like 17 times, and I rolled my left ankle about 15 times. This ankle right here is so loose that like if I roll in half, it doesn't really sprain anymore because it's like just so loose and fucked up. This one's haven't rolled as much, but it's still pretty loose. Like I can bend it in half, and it doesn't really sprain. So that's not really a good thing because I'm 27 and like. 10 years, they, who knows, they probably won't even work. Maybe I'll get robotic ankles, but. So yeah, that, and then I ended up going to California like eight months later, and I'm still in an ankle brace. I can't flick my board. That's when I started doing only heel flips because I had no flick, like I couldn't bend my ankle. I could only like, just start doing all heel flip tricks. I had no kick flip for 11 months. I was on crutches for like three months of that, but then like, couldn't do shit, it was horrible. That's when I started filming the beer pong shot videos because I was so bored just sitting in my room. That's how the first ones actually started up. And then yeah, it was like 11 months later, finally I could start start skating again and using that ankle. It was, it was terrible, skating in California, not being able to do any flip tricks with a big boot on, like it was horrible. And that was the last time I've been there, so. Kind of, should probably go back soon. Maybe, maybe not. I actually got one more story. I don't have a clip for it, but I do. I found a photo. It was <laughs> well, Brian Herman. He ended his one part on a Hollywood 12 rail. He did a front nose grind while doing a stale fish. So I'm just skating in my garage one night, and uh, I do a couple nose grinds, and I try and do a nose grind stale fish. As soon as I go to grab the board between my legs, I just smack my forehead on the concrete. I have no idea how, or can't really remember it, but it immediately swells up the size of a golf ball right here, and like. My vision just went, like my focus was gone, I, I couldn't see my phone, I couldn't see stop signs when, when I was getting driven to the hospital. So then yeah, I went inside, told my parents, they drove me to the hospital, and then it was like, it was pretty bad because I couldn't see. And then I remember I ate chili the night before, and I was just throwing up chili everywhere. I, I didn't eat chili for like a year after this. I think it was still, it was veggie chili, but still, it was all these tomatoes and peppers, they were just coming up and it was so harsh. And then I ended up having to get a, um, an IV in my arm and sleep in the hospital overnight because it was like, I don't know, I had a concussion again. Had a lot of concussions. But, so yeah, I had to sleep over there for an entire night. It was like the hardest night's sleep in my life because just, I don't like needles and like sleeping with one in my arm and just laying there like this. It was just like, it was terrible. I, I ended up getting out of there at like six o'clock the next day. Then I was able to skate again, but it was, it was terrible. And I think I got, definitely have so many more injuries, but those are just the ones I got on film, like all my ankle rolls. A lot of them you wouldn't even want to see because they're so gross looking, but yeah, those are some of my worst injuries that I have on video, so be safe. Drink a lot of water. <laughs> Tons of water. Eat your veggies, kids. And your lemons. Oh yeah, and squeeze that lemon juice in that water too. Alright, I'm back to bed. I'm out of here. Catch you guys tomorrow morning. Uh,